We're here this morning with Nick Catronio, who teaches guitar and has a profile on findaguitarteacher.com. Nick, good morning. Thanks for taking time to talk to us about your guitar teaching. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Well, to, to, kick, uh, to start off the interview, why don't you tell us about where you teach? Uh, what state do you teach in and uh, what city do you teach in within that state? So I'm based out of uh, Connecticut uh, in the greater Hartford area in a town called Manchester. And uh, do you uh, teach in students' homes or do students uh, come to you or is it a combination of both? It's a combination of both. Primarily I have my own teaching studio um, where I keep all my resources so it's, uh, it makes things a lot easier when students come to me because I have all of the things that I need to work with the student. But I've taught students in the past in their homes and things like that as well. And, and when you uh, go to students' homes, do you uh, travel throughout the greater Hartford area or are there certain areas where you'll travel to? I pretty much stay within the greater Hartford area, um, yes. you know, around, you know, maybe a 30-minute, you know, uh, area of the, of the place. Of course, that makes sense. Kind of yeah. have a, a radius that uh, yeah. you'll stay within. Yeah. And... Um, what would you say the guitar lesson climate is there in the greater Hartford area? <clears throat> Excuse me. Would you say that there are a lot of people interested in learning guitar? Yeah, there's all, you know, I've been in this area for about 10 years now. Um, I started teaching in Connecticut when I was doing my uh, degree work at the Hart School of Music. And I would say that there's a very healthy climate of guitar uh, enthusiasts in the area um, of all genres and all styles of music. And what styles would you say your students or do you find students most interested in learning? Um, I don't think that there's necessarily a style. Um, you know, I think that there's a lot of rock guitar um, guitarists that are interested in lessons. There's also a very healthy classical guitar uh, style and niche in the area because we have, uh, in the area, there's a very large classical guitar society. You have the Hart School of Music where I did my degree that has a very large and thriving classical guitar program uh, and other community colleges which which have that same kind of focus and then you have some jazz um, enthusiasts you have some just beginners that are just interested in playing the guitar it's yes. really a healthy uh, nice healthy mix I would say I would say so and it, and it seems like in your playing you've leaned most heavily toward the classical in your training is that true or have you it, played all styles in my training, in my collegiate training at least, my undergrad and graduate degrees, I focus primarily on classical guitar playing. However, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I grew up playing rock guitar and I was in bands when I was in high school. Um, I've done musicals after I've been in, um, after I've completed my, my coursework, you know, I've done musicals and been in pit orchestras for a lot of musicals. And I've just, you know, I really sort of feel that I have a, abilities in different areas and really can uh, venture out and, and uh, teach them a wide variety of styles. And uh, when you're teaching a student, uh, in simple terms, what would you say your guitar teaching uh, approach is? What is your focus when you're with a student? Uh, 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 I would say that my... Yeah, I would say that my, my approach... Oops, sorry, that was a truck. Um, that's all right. I would say that my, my approach, no matter what style or no matter what uh, genre a student is leaning towards, my approach is really giving them the tools they need to be successful. Um, we work a lot on practice skills and learning how to isolate problems and how to uh, further refine um, issues that they may have in their playing. I have a very strong belief of uh, reinforcing technique and really developing a proper technique so that way a student can uh, express their musical voice to their fullest. And um, yeah, I, and performances. I think performing is an extremely important part of it all, just getting out there and playing, whether you're playing for a few people or whether you're playing in you know a fun band just off to the side or if you have an idea of you know, playing out in front of people. I think that, you know, music as a performance art is a big thing as well that I like to enforce in, uh, and reinforce in, in lessons. Excellent. And do you teach Excellent. both adults and children? Yeah. 
Can you say that one more time? We're sort of uh, coming in and out of, now. Of course. It, it seems like we might be having some problems with the the video. If this keeps up, maybe we'll, we'll try the whole thing again. Um, yeah. But uh, I was asking if you teach both adults and children. Oh, absolutely. I teach um, adults and children. I actually, during my master's, I got a uh, part of my master's was working on Suzuki pedagogy as it applies to classical guitar. So I am very well versed in teaching kids as young as three years old to start, actually. And then I've, um, you know, I have a lot of adult students, a lot of adult amateurs who just want to play and have fun playing the guitar. Excellent. And, uh, and, uh, when you're teaching, uh, what guitars do you use? Uh, tell us a little bit about your equipment. Well, for classical guitar, I use my um, this guitar right here, which is a guitar built by the Massachusetts uh, Bluthier Alan Chapman. He's based out of Amherst, Mass. Um, so this is my main classical guitar. This is my concert guitar, and this is what I use to teach with. Um, and then typically, I use... Um, if I'm doing an electric guitar lesson, I typically use um, a Music Man Silhouette Special as my instrument, and I have a few Music Man, Man instruments um, that I use for my electric guitar playing. Excellent. And do you offer guidance to students about um, about what equipment to buy, what guitar to buy? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think any guitarist at heart is a gearhead, whether they're a classical guitarist, yes. guitarist you know, we're always looking for that gear, and I certainly... Um, you know, will say that I'm a gearhead as well. And so I love all of that stuff and helping students, especially when they might not really know what they're looking for or might not really have ever gone after a piece of gear before. I really um, try to help them um, find what they want and then how to get it and then, you know, sort of work them through that process. Excellent. Well, before we wrap up for today, uh, can you play us something on the, the classical guitar to give students a little taste of your own playing? Absolutely. So I'll play the beginning part of uh, the prelude from Bach's first cello suite. It's, an arran it's my own personal arrangement that I've done. Wonderful. Thank you for being uh, part of findaguitarteacher.com and for taking the time to do this interview. Well, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure, and best of luck in your guitar teaching. Take care thank now. You. Thanks.